DevTools is one of the best tools that Spring provides to enhance developer experience by adding features such as live reload, automatic restart, remote application, etc. Developer tools are automatically disabled when running a fully packaged application. If your application is launched using Java uh, dash jar or if it is started using a special class loader, then it is considered a production application. Similarly, when the application is dockerized, the dev, dev tools are also disabled. This makes developers shy away from dockerizing applications during the development phase. In today's video, we will discuss how Spring Boot's docker image creation functionality works with dev tools. Hi, my name is Pratap. Welcome to PXP channel. To demonstrate how Spring Boot's Docker image creation functionality works with uh, dev tools. We will start with creation of a Spring Boot application. As usual, uh, we will create our uh, application using the most popular option, Spring Initializer. We will add two dependencies. One is uh, web and the other one will be dev tools. Let's click on gender project. Let's import um, the project into IntelliJ and let's create a simple endpoint. Before that, let's create a, another uh, package and let's name it as controller. And within the controller, uh, let's create a Java class. Let's name it as hello controller. And uh, we will make it as a rest controller by adding the annotation at the rate request. Uh, sorry, uh, rest controller and then we will add a um, public method which will return a string. Let's name the uh, method as hello pxp and uh, uh, within that we will return uh, say welcome to pxp channel. And uh, let's annotate this method uh, with request mapping. This will be a get mapping and the path will be hello. Okay, the, this controller is ready. Let's go to the main class and run the application. The application is started. Uh, we will go to uh, command prompt and call uh, the endpoint. So let me type call and then uh, HTTP uh, localhost 8080 slash hello. And it says, welcome to PXP channel. Let's now change the text to, um, for example, thank you for your support. And save the project. Because we are using dev tools, we uh, can change the uh, string and then um, save it. And then behind the scene, dev tool, uh, is reloading the application uh, without restarting the JVM. So now if we hit the same endpoint, let's go to the command prompt and uh, hit the same endpoint. And you can see uh, we are getting the updated string. Starting in uh, Spring Boot 2.3, Spring provides this magnificent functionality that will take the existing application and will build a Docker image that can run anywhere. So to do that, we will run the command mbnw spring boot build image and hit enter. This is going to compile and unit test your code and convert it into a Docker image which can then be run anywhere. The image is built successfully. So let us run the application as a Docker container. Let's 
let me issue the uh, docker images command and uh, that will list all the images uh, that are available and our Im image is a uh, dev tools uh, dot docker dot live reload demo this is the image that was created let's run this uh, image as a container by issuing the command docker run we will uh, port map it into um, 8080 and uh, we will run it in detached mode okay uh, the container is uh, running now let's curl uh, to the same endpoint that we have created before that let me change uh, the text i will say maybe hello folks thank you for your support i'm changing it and uh, saving the application the application is saved let me call into the same endpoint yeah as you can see it is not returning the uh, latest change so, though it is a setback there is a way we can make the application to reload because both the dev tools and the cloud native build packs are ready to handle such kind of development situations we will start by adding a secret in the application dot properties file spring dot dev tools dot remote dot secret equal to my secret We will also change our palm to let the Spring Boot know uh, not to exclude the dev tools during build. So this is the configuration we will have to add. We'll go ahead and build the image once again. While the image is building, we will do the final step here in the run configuration. In the configuration, instead of running our main application, we will run the remote spring application. The remote spring application is essentially a file watcher that constantly looks for file change. As and when files are changed in the running application, uh, is notified that the files have changed. We will provide the argument as localhost 8080. We will now go ahead and run our container once again. We will start the remote application in the IDE. Remote application is started and running. Let's curl to the same endpoint now. You can see we are getting the response. Uh, let us now make some changes to the uh, string. Let's say hello YouTube. And let's save it. Let's look at the uh, console output of the remote spring application. As you can see, the remote server has changed tri triggering uh, live reload. Now, if we uh, call to the same endpoint, as you can see, uh, the response, uh, the changed response is being displayed.
once again let's uh, change the string just to make sure that uh, the, the application is live reloading and save it yes the application is live reloading let's call it again and it is returning the string thank you for watching please do like share subscribe and if there are any queries suggestions then please let me know in the comment section thank you